my channel, Kitty Wasami. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to show y'all an awesome salsa recipe that has been around in my family. It's super good. I don't know why I haven't showed y'all this before, but today me and my husband, we're gonna be outside. We're gonna be setting up the pool for the kids and we wanted some chips and salsa, of course. My husband has his own way. Now, I need my way. We gotta make it low carb, but it's still gonna be delicious. I'm gonna show y'all an awesome chip replacement that y'all can get your hands on, but first, let's go ahead and jump into the salsa recipe this salsa recipe is from my mom's mom it's super good we would have it all the time and i have been craving it lately especially when the summer comes around so you just need a very minimal ingredient you literally throw everything into a blender and it's super quick so first thing we're going to go in with we're going to go in with four garlic cloves three to four depending on how big they are we're going to go ahead and add these in then we're going to take several Roma tomatoes. We're going to take about six Roma tomatoes. I'm going to go ahead and chop off the ends. I like to cut my tomatoes in half and take out the inside because to me, the inside of the seeds and everything, it tends to make the salsa like soupy and you don't want that. So I go ahead and take it out. We're going to go ahead and add them to our blender and just repeat to all your tomatoes. chop off the ends because i have left the inside before and it just made it super different so i just recommend to take out the insides okay we got all our tomatoes into our blender all our roma tomatoes now we're going to go in with the jalapenos i'm using two large jalapenos depending on how big they are you can use two to three depending on how spicy you like it too i love me some spicy but then again ray's a weenie sometimes so he doesn't like too much of a spice so i'm going to go ahead and take out the seeds Clean off the insides. I'll leave a little bit. All right, we're gonna add these into our blender as well. You don't have to chop them up or anything because we're just gonna blend it. Into the blender. All right, we got tomatoes, we got the jalapenos. Now we're gonna add in a medium-sized onion. Go ahead and chop off the edges. I just go ahead and chop it down just a little bit to add to the blender. Oh, I haven't had this in a while. I'm so excited. It's going to be so good, especially with our chip replacement. I'm going to show you an awesome chip replacement. All right, then you're going to take one can of tomato sauce. It's just regular tomato sauce, no flavoring to it. Go ahead and open this up. Add the whole can in there. And then you're gonna save the can. We're gonna add some water to the can. Usually it's about a whole one, but I'm gonna do about half. I don't like it too runny. Okay, that's good enough. And then last ingredient, oh, we're gonna go in with some salt too. But last ingredient, you want one bunch of cilantro. I go ahead and just keep it together and I chop off the ends. And then we're going to add this in. Oh, yeah. Cilantro is literally the best part. I love me some extra cilantro. All right. Then we're going to add some salt, but we're going to taste it at the end, too. We're just going to go in with some salt to taste. Add a good amount because salsa needs some good amount of salt sometimes. And then let's go ahead and blend this up. We're going to put on our lid. Okay. What button options do I have over here? I have so many button options. Do we have a salsa one? We need a salsa one. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and do pulse and we're gonna let this blend. It's ready. It is ready. Okay, I'm gonna get a spoon and we gotta taste it to see if it needs any more salt, but I'm gonna do that in a minute. We're gonna move on to crisping up our chip replacement. All right guys, we're gonna get started on crisping our chip replacement. So I'm gonna heat through some oil. You can use any kind of keto approved oil that you like, but I personally like to use some avocado oil because it has a higher smoking point and gets them nice and crispy. So I'm gonna go ahead and coat the bottom because we're gonna be making a good amount of chips today. Does this thing come off? All right, let's shake it in there. Okay, I got the bottom nice and coated. I'm gonna go ahead and heat this through while we get our chip replacement. So for today's chip replacement, guys, this is literally 
my favorite chip replacement. Cut the carb flatbread wraps. You cannot beat this. They are so good. They crisp so well. They don't have an aftertaste. Um, you can only get these on their website, so I'll link it below. Each flatbread is nine net carbs, so you get a good amount once you slice it up, and you can make a lot of different things with these. But I'll link it below for y'all. If y'all can't get your hands on these or you don't want to order them, guys, there's other chip replacements you can use. You can slice up some low-carb tortillas, crisp them the same way. You can use some chicharrones or any other chip replacement you would like with some salsa. But this, hands down, the best. So I'm going to go ahead and crisp up two flatbreads. I have them right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and start slicing them up. I'm gonna make little chips, of course. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. And they are pretty thin. So that's what I like about them. We put some salt on top of them and they taste amazing. I'm gonna go ahead, slice it this way. And just make little triangles. Which way? This way. Oh, a tort. You gotta be careful with them. They are very fragile. Now, when we cook them, we gotta kind of cook them at a low. So, we got little chip replacements right here, and we're just gonna slice them up and put them to the side. Alright guys, I got my little chips cut out and these are nine net carbs. I know to some people it might be a little bit high, but me personally, I eat these mostly on like barbecue days. So I usually eat like once a day on a barbecue, you know, you're busy throughout the day. By the time the barbecue comes, you want yourself a little appetizer. So this is great for two people, but if it's just you, you can go ahead and crisp up one flatbread and you are totally fine. Then you can have the rest of your barbecue meals. You got your little chip replacement in and it's super good. But we're gonna go ahead, I have the avocado oil nice and heated through right here, nice and hot. You gotta make sure you kinda keep it on a low to medium because these tend to cook super fast. So we're gonna work in sections. Go ahead and drop these in. And you're gonna see they get nice and crispy. I do have another recipe video using these, making some homemade nachos. Those were delicious, so check it out. It'll pop up at the end of this video too for you to look at it. But I don't like to overcrowd it. I like to just lay them in just like this. And then we're going to get one side crispy. We're going to flip the other side. Right here, I have a bowl with a paper towel. I like to just keep this off to the side so extra grease, uh, grease can drain in here. And we'll put a little bit of salt on it. I know some of y'all had tried this meal replacement. And y'all absolutely love it. So I'm really glad y'all enjoyed that. Okay. They cook super fast, guys. We're going to wash them right here. You see the edges already browning. Okay, this literally took about a minute to get nice and crispy like this. Depending on how crispy you like it, you can cook it some more, but I like mine just like this. So we're gonna take it out, add it to our bowl, drain off the oil, and then you're just gonna repeat until you are done, until they all look nice and crispy like this. Simple low-carb chips. Look at that, delicious. All right, I got all my low-carb chips nice and crisped up. Look at this, nice and crispy. Now, I like to just add a little bit of salt on here, of course, just to give it a little bit of flavor. I did add a little bit more salt to my salsa. It's all on your preference. I probably added about a tablespoon, depending on how much salsa you're making. Everybody likes it different, you know, saltiness. I'm gonna go ahead and add my salsa to my bowl. Oh, it looks so good. Now, everybody's gonna enjoy this, keto or not, low carb or not, you can definitely just have this with some regular chips for you and your family, but if you are a low carb keto, this is gonna be your good replacement. All right, we're gonna go ahead and give it a test try. I haven't had this in a while, and we used to have it like all the time. Mm. Oh, it's so good, yes. Chip is nice and crispy, I know y'all hear that. Sauciness. Sauciness is on point. Salsa is on point, nice and hot. I like it spicy, has great flavor, nice and salty, guys. This is gonna be great for over the summer. If y'all would like to see any more um, salsas, easy salsas that y'all can go ahead and put together, comment down below and I will be happy to do so. But I hope y'all enjoy this recipe over the summer. If you happen to make it, head on over to my Facebook page. I would love to see you and your family enjoying it next to the poolside or at your family barbecue. Post some pictures there. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and I'm about to go sit down and enjoy my low-carb chips and salsa. 
And just so y'all know, this salsa will last in the fridge about five to seven days. I do recommend to go ahead and put it in your fridge about 30 minutes to an hour before you do dig in for your barbecue or your family get together.